Where are we? Wait a minute. What is that? What is that? Oh, pencil. Two pen a pencil and a mechanical pencil. Why? Because I don't have a tripod in this room. This is uh, a pencil holder that I'm using as my tripod because I have a, an unexpected package and an envelope. Um, a really cool envelope from a channel called Smarter Every Day. It's a fun little channel. Not sure if you guys have heard of it. It has a note and a sticker. I'm not going to read the whole note. I'm just going to put a... If you want to read it, you can take a screenshot of it. Got this note after being a supporter on Patreon of a really cool, fun channel. Smarter Every Day. And a really cool sticker that came with it. Smarter Every Day. Supersonic Baseball Team. If you guys haven't heard of them and you don't know what the Supersonic Baseball Team is, check them out. YouTube, Smarter Every Day. Really fun stuff. And a, an awesome sticker that I got. Um, that's not the only surprise in the mail today. Uh, a giant box, which when I saw it, it will it even fit? It's, it's one of these. Priority mail, large, flat rate box. When I saw it, I thought that it might be a uh, missing lot of athletics cards that I bought on eBay, which uh, kind of a sad experience. Really good price that I paid for a large flat rate box of athletics bulk commons, you know, those sorts of things. Um, the guy made a shipping label like immediately after I bought it and then didn't take it to the post office for eight days. And then 14 hours after he dropped it off at the post office, it arrived at a local distribution center and never moved again after that. Um, that's not this package. I thought this might be it because this was a totally unexpected package, but that's not what this is. And, uh, you know, I'm making a video about it, so it's got to be something cool, right? Right, because I only make videos about cool things like spiders and dripping water. Uh, this is a package from Brian Zebart. Badger Z. Let's see what's in it. We have some bubble wrap, some foam, move these out of the way, we have some more bubble wrap, we have a piece of paper towel, <laughs> we have a, uh, a used bubble envelope, we're getting there, we're getting, we have a note, we have a note, oh this is awesome, okay. Let's see here. Hello, Robert. Hope you enjoy the care package. I'm sending you some more packs with stickers. If you already have them, use the extras for minute rips, junky breaks, janky breaks, jank, janky breaks, snotty breaks, or whatever breaks you have going on. Janky breaks. I'm going to have to... Uh... Oh, you can't see the note. Sorry, this is a new camera, new phone, new camera. Angles are different. The, the view is different. The... um the frame field of view junky breaks janky breaks oh you spelled junky wrong see that 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 spelling of junky would mean something that's garbage and not good quality but the other spelling of junky with an ie means somebody who's addicted and that's what the junky breaks are anyway minute rips junky breaks janky breaks janky breaks i'm going to have to figure out what janky breaks and snotty breaks are or whatever break you have going on you had mentioned on another Breakers channel that you were looking for some triple play, and alas, I am sending you some. That's awesome. Except I wasn't going to announce that to anybody. If I ever had found any, it was supposed to be a April Fool's pack that I was going to open. But uh, I just announced it, I guess. So maybe on April 1st we'll open a pack of triple play. 
I am enclosing other useful and fun treasures that I know you will enjoy, or maybe not. Um, I probably will, because I always enjoy useful and fun things. Continue doing the videos, and cheer on, cheer your A's on. Brian Z, Badger Z, the pantless one. All right, let's see what we have in here. First thing, a bunch of dice. Let's uh, take a look at, oop, I ripped it. Well, let's look at it through the bag. We have a whole bunch of different dice. We're gonna see how we can work those in to the games. Awesome, cool. Now we have, did you lose these? Did, did you lose these, Brian? Were you looking for these? Did you lose some scissors? <laughs> He's probably looking all over the house for those. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that was on purpose. Because we also have a couple of other cutting implements. We've got a uh, box cutter. Okay, there, there must be a way. Okay, there we go. There we go. When it wears out, we can snap the blade off. And these old school box cutters, these are the ones we used to use at the grocery store. Except ours had uh, a little bit different end where you could put the blade sideways and use it as a scraper. Rex Betty. Awesome. Replaceable blades. Really great color. Love the orange. Thank you so much for those. Let's, I'm going to put all of these together in here. Let's see what else is in here. We have... This is awesome. I have a few of these, but you can never have too many, and this one is old school. I wonder if the, the letters are actually in a different font than the one that I have. Let's see here. This is old school. All right. This is going to take a little work. Oh, no. That's interesting. Okay. So that's cool. So do these... Yeah. Check that out. So these slide right in there. These are like rubber stamps, but they're not rubber. So there's a ship. And there's a lion. And a train. Here's an old ink pad for rubber stamps. That probably came with the same set. This is awesome. I wonder if this is... Okay, so the pad... Is it in there or not? Can't tell. But um, a piece of felt with some refill ink. Quick drying stamp pad. They're dried up, but they can be uh, refilled. And uh, if you guys don't know what this is, it's... Um, it's a tray where you can put the little rubber letters and make your own rubber stamps. So that is awesome. I have a few different sets of these. We're going to see if we can uh, get this one to work. And if these, uh, if the letters aren't too dried out, let me brush some of these crumbs to the side here. A little bit of old ink dust came out of there. And then we have... This enormous box is filled with packs. Let's see here. Holy smokes, so much stuff. Uh, so, not sure if you guys knew, but I am working on a collection of packs, unopened packs, that have original store stickers on them, price tags. Uh, like that one that says General Merchandise, number 129. So that probably came out of a grocery store. Rack pack. Let's see what else is in here. There's another rack pack. So the first one was, uh, what year is that? Is that 84? 88. 88 tops. We have 90 Donruss. Sweet additions to check that out. Walgreens right on there. Super, super cool. We have Zayer, a store called Zayer, right there. That is, is that, that's the same 98 tops, 80, 80, 88 tops. Yes, 88. 
Oops. Okay. I just picked up a box and the top came off. So let's see here. All right, got it. Oh, it was wrapped up with paper. Oh, I see what that is. That's going to have to be a whole separate video. I'm not even going to tell you what guy what what uh, what's in here, guys. But it's going to be a separate video. That is really really cool. Let me put that back. If Brian is watching this, this was the jewel box that's wrapped in paper, so you know what this is. But I'm going to make a separate video to show everyone else what that is. It has a title on it. All right, we're going to set that to the side right over here. Let's see what else is in here. All right. Here's a rack pack from KB Toys. Awesome. We've got a stadium club from Ames. We don't have Ames. I'm going to move these out of the way and the printing set out of the way. We don't have Ames around here. I'm not sure if anybody does anymore, but we never had Ames around here. We have Tops Big from Murphy's. We've got another Walgreens. Now I might have to go and see if there's a place to look up the, um, the history of price tags from different stores and see if I can identify. I'm sure that some collectors would be able to identify what, what era that each price tag was from. Um, so that's interesting. This one, I think, came out of a pricing gun, the KB. And this one looks like it was off of a printer because they're serrated edges. Cool. 50 cents for those packs. Walgreens. We have the Miners. Cooperstown B and B.com. Has a number on there. Cooperstown. I don't know what the BB is. I'll have to look that up. Really, really awesome. Oh, here we go. Good old-fashioned Woolworth. I just recently found out that um, the name Woolworth is still around. They have some stores in Australia. And uh, they call them Woolies for short. I'm stepping aside because I found the lid to the jewel box. It came off. Uh, looks like one of the hinges broke off. Let's see, we have another Topps Big from KB. This is super sweet. And then we have, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, let me, let me pull out a few of these at a time. And then I can move them in front of the camera and we can look at them. Really, really awesome. Oh my goodness, another jewel box. That's going to be more than one video, I think. All right, I'm going to pull out all these rack packs. Super duper cool. All right, what do we have here? We have 89 Donruss from... Uh, department stores? Clark's? Clark's department stores or convenience? Can't read it. Department stores. Clark's department stores. That is definitely a label that I have not seen before. Let's see here. We have 89 Bowman from Ames. This is so awesome. We have Woolworth. Is that $1.39? That's it's it's interesting. Because I'm sure it wasn't $13.90. But uh, that's the way the price reads. It's, it's so funny how um, retail workers sometimes don't, didn't know how to um, set the price gun up exactly right. That should have said $1.39, I'm sure, but it says $13.90. Uh, we have CWCP. Still have to figure out if that was the name of a store or a department in a store. We have another general merchandise. Dollar nine. 
lots of puzzle pieces on there. Here's another 89 Bowman from Woolworth. And we have one from Herman's. Haven't heard of Herman's. Who knows where Herman's was? $1.39 for those. Man, if we could get uh, fat packs. Th these rack packs are basically the equivalent of a fat pack. 42 cards. If we could get fat packs for $1.39, that would be insane. All right. We have 89 Bowman from Ames. Top's big first series. I don't remember why some are red and some are blue. Are they different years? So one from Murphy's, one from KB. Got Don Russ. What year is this? 88 Don Russ from Pay and Save. Nice. That's a new sticker, definitely. And, oh, this one had, uh, looks like it either split with age. Yeah, probably split with age. But YOC, have to find out what store that is. Top's big third series. All right. What else do we have here? We have, okay, there's some a team bag. I'm going to save these for a different video and this other. Okay, those are going to be a swipey break. These other ones are for some another video. And then we have some boxes in here. Okay, we have store sticker packs. That's labeled on that one box. And one box is labeled triple play. I'm going to move the big box out of the way. Down to the floor there. All right. Okay, so we have... These are going to be for minute rips. These... Uh, Triple plays. They're going to get mixed in. We have uh, 92 Premier Edition Don Russ Triple Play. One pack of that. And then the rest of that box is... Um, these are the ones. <laughs> these are the ones that I wanted. That, you know, a lot of you guys like to laugh, laugh at. But um, too bad for you. It's all about variety. Thank you so much, Brian. We have tons and tons of those now. And it looks like the box... This is another box with uh, cards on the back, which are going to get cut out carefully. Oh, hey, Lisa, check that out. I know Lisa's going to like that. Hope, hopefully we can find that when it's Lisa's turn. Um, I know she'll like that, but these are going to get cut out into the cards, and they'll get put into minute rips. So that's a whole bunch of triple play. Awesome. Love having the variety for the extra bit of fun. And then there's another box here that says Triple Play and Other Treasures. So let's see what's in this one. Ooh. Oh, what are we going to do with those? What are we going to do with these? Alrighty. Let's see here. Oh, this... Okay, this is going to be something... I think that I might have to save these for a different video when I figure out how I'm going to use them. But um, here's some more triple play, triple play, some more triple play. Alrighty, there's some more of that. These other ones, some of them are going to be great for minute rips, and some of them I'm going to have to figure out how to use them. Wow. <laughs> really cool stuff. Really, really cool stuff. Okay, there we go. Separating out some of these that, um, how much do I want to spoil the surprise? Let's just say they're not baseball cards. I'll, I'll say that much, and I'm going to have to figure out exactly how I want to use them. All right, we got that. Wow. I'm not sure I could even bring myself to open that pack. That might have to go in the pack collection. That was a great movie. <laughs> Some funny stuff. That's going to be a separate video or, or 
we're going to figure out how to use these things. Um, they are cards. They are not baseball cards. So they they probably not going to have a spot in minute rips. But I'm picking through, and there are some that are baseball that'll end up probably in minute rips. So there was more triple play. We've got Topps Big High Gloss Grand Slam Baseball Stickers. Official licensed product. Who are these from? Looking for a company name on here. Oh, I guess we'll figure... Oh, FLIR right there. FLIR Corporation. We've got some uh, Nolan Ryan pack. More Big League. Not Big League. Big. Tops Big. Awesome, awesome stuff. Super cool. And then we have more store sticker packs. Let's take a look at what's in this one. All right. All right, we've got a rack pack with the general merchandise sticker. That's a pretty cool looking sticker, actually. Haven't seen one exactly like that before. It's really small and compact. We have another Walgreens, 179, 1990 Donruss. We've got 92 Fleer from Gecko Books. Have to figure out where Gecko Books is located. Never heard of them. Must be like a, a little independent chain or independent store. We have another Woolworth. Sorry, I'm looking at the packs instead of looking through the camera. And with the new field of view on this camera, because sometimes there's Toys R Us. 1988 score. Really, really cool. All right, we have Hills. 1993 Stadium Club. We've got KB Toys. 92 Stadium Club. We've got Super Center. Is there a... Yep, there's a name, but I can't read it. I'll have to get the magnifying glass. We've got Reduced Price, four for a dollar. Walgreens. Used to be 40 cents. Now it's four for a dollar. That's 25 cents for the um, math challenged. We have 1988 yearbook stickers from... Big lots. Wow. Now that's interesting. I wouldn't mind buying some of these for a dime. Uh, I wonder how old that is. Because uh, around here, big lots, I, I guess in some parts of the countries, it's an older store. But around here, we used to have a chain of stores called McFrugal's. And they were bought out by big lots. Check this out. This is a big old fat pack. 42 picture cards, tops. Kmart, $1.47. Dwight Gooden right there on the top. That one's cool. That's a fat pack. Then we have Eckert. Eckert Drugs. Haven't seen those in a while. We've got something from a grocery store. Or maybe from a drugstore, but the grocery department. That's, that's fascinating to me that baseball cards would be in the grocery department, but because it's bubblegum... That means they probably didn't have to, uh, well, in California, they wouldn't have to charge tax on it if it was gum with free baseball cards because you don't have to tax food in California. So we have, uh, I don't see a name on here, but it says what department to use. That gives me the, uh, the feeling of a Montgomery Ward sticker. I'm going to have to look up some... Uh, Old Montgomery Ward stickers and see if maybe that came from Montgomery Wards. We have a Woolworth. Kind of a newer sticker than maybe the older ones. This looks like it was probably printed on a computer. We have another from Hills. And a Kmart. I tried when our Kmart stores were closing. I tried to uh, get some rolls of these stickers. But... Uh, they wouldn't let me have them. Uh, we have another pay and save. And then we have Farmore. That's a pharmacy, I'm sure. 
and another from Eckert Drugs, and the bane of my existence, CVS. So what's the lowest price on here, guys? Is the lowest price 67 cents, 49 cents, or 9.9 .9 cents? <laughs> I think somebody needs to learn how to use their price gun because the smaller number, it, it should have been zero and then two nines and the cents, but they put $9.90 right there. That is the end of the box. There are still a bunch of packs in a box here and a team bag and a jewel box over there for a separate video and two more jewel boxes for a couple of more videos. Thank you so much, Brian Zebart. This is amazing, fun stuff. Really happy to have the triple play for Minute Rips for the extra bit of fun. And um, these are an amazing addition to my collection of store sticker packs. One of these days, I'm going to show you guys the type of boxes that I'm going to get. Each one of these is going to go in a, a little box so that the store stickers can stay, uh, stay in place over the years. Thank you so much, Brian. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you uh, let Brian know what you thought of these packs. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you're subscribed for more, and see you next time.